All right, if you've been playing the new ranked mode in Brawl Stars, then you have probably encountered this issue that I'm going to talk about today. So what is it that I think there is an issue with in Brawl Stars ranked mode? It is the fact that, yes, you need to have a brawler to rank nine to be able to use them in ranked mode. But the fact that you can use them without a gadget, without a star power, without any gears i think is criminal i've mentioned this in a few different videos I, I genuinely do think this is an issue now after platinum onwards uh then it might be easier so if you are platinum and above or above platinum and you're not seeing this as much let me know in the comments i'm literally in platinum free at the moment so i'm still encountering this at the moment in platinum and it is quite frustrating i don't just want to bash supercell because i absolutely appreciate that the barrier to entry you don't want it to be so high that it feels like it's out of reach but at the same time you are going to have a lot of people that are playing solo maybe in duos sometimes if you're lucky you'll obviously get a free but i do just want to really target the solo players um out there that are kind of casually playing this and they're a bit like me at the moment who are having play solo for their majority of their games and they are probably going to encounter this a few a few times than you'd like and i was only encountering this a couple of times and then i've started to see it more and more and more so getting all the way up to platinum free diamond free should i say sorry i have noticed that this is happening a lot there are a lot of brawlers that are coming into my games that either have like no gadgets or no super powers that have no gadgets and they have no star powers which is extremely frustrating and i wanted to use leon as a bit of a use case here just to kind of go through the impact that it can actually have now for any of you that are going into your games and because you have a limited amount of brawlers or for whatever reason you want to use a brawler in a certain situation and for the most part you do really well without um the star power and the gadget then you know that is your opinion and that's fine and if that is the case and that's great i think for the majority of people though you are massively at a disadvantage if somebody does this um, without a shadow of a doubt and again it's not that person specific fault because supercell is allowing them to do this in the game currently so if you only have a level nine brawler but i do i do think that it is an issue and i just want to use leon as a use case so we can just sort of go through some of the differences and and then also just talk about the price and the barrier to entry um and whether we think that's an impact now with leon obviously you've got the the levels there up to 11 and the difference between level 9 and level 11 in terms of health is you know 6120 as a level 9 6800 as level 11 it's only 680 difference not massive but you know could survive an extra shot or two potentially depending on the type of brawler in certain situations or it could be the difference between you know life and death essentially uh, and that's even before we talk about the gear which would give you an extra 900 health on top of that or shield if you like that would also give you <clears throat> an even better buff so in this scenario you'd have up to 7700 health as a leon providing that you've allowed that that to charge so that is you know quite significant and fairly impactful and then in terms of like the damage between level 9 and level 11 so 864 damage per blade at minimum range so 864 versus 960 which is a 96 difference and then the damage per blade at max range is only 38 uh different so three uh 344 at level 9 and 382 so not massive but it is still a difference right we have to take into consideration that some brawlers have more impactful uh, gadgets and star powers than others right so with leon you could argue that okay it's not the end of the world if he doesn't have his gadget home protector it is going to be obviously it would have been really useful if he has lollipop but if he doesn't again you'd argue not the end of the world the mythic gear that you can get for leon which increases his super from six seconds to eight seconds that's that's quite big that's a big buff um I consider that very impactful um, if you have that. And obviously in, in this scenario that we're talking about, that, that that person picking this brawler wouldn't have that. And then you've got Smoke Trails, which is increasing uh, Leon's movement speed in his super when it's activated, which is absolutely massive. Like that is a big buff. You know, that is the difference between closing the gap and not quite making it to the border that you're trying to attack 
And then if you was going to take Invisi Heal, Leon recovers 1,306 health per second while his super is active. Of course, if you have the Mythic gear, that's going to last even longer. And he can have up to a total of 8,160 health or 10,880 if he has the Mythic gear. So that is a huge amount of health that a Leon is just missing out if they haven't got this at all. And then lastly to sort of add the cherry on top um they wouldn't have a hypercharge so you know hypercharge giving you that increased speed that increased damage that increased shield that is absent they wouldn't have that now not ever obviously every brawler has a hypercharge so obviously using Leon in this scenario means that it's more impactful here but still if you haven't gotten to level 11 you aren't going to have a a hypercharge at all so that will make a big difference hypercharges are clearly impactful a lot of people are talking about them so if someone hasn't got a hypercharge and they haven't got any star powers or any gadgets or any gears and god forbid you've got two of them in your game that don't have them i'm sorry but you are a massive disadvantage now I, the only reason i can think that supercell haven't made it so that you need to have at least one gadget and one star power a minimum is because the barrier to entry would be too high i'm just speculating i don't actually know it's just my thoughts on it it feels like that could be a reasonable reason <laughs> it's kind of a stupid one so if we look at the cost to actually get a brawler to level nine it would cost you 1410 power points and 3090 total points so yeah if you're free to play probably going to take you a little bit longer the brawl passes obviously allow you to get a lot of coins and power points especially if you're a new a new player um you only need to be have a thousand trophies to even enter ranked um, I'd argue that, you know, your first 15,000, 20,000 trophies really are very much just focused on getting trophies on all your brawlers. It's not an unreasonable amount, right? You could easily get a brawler up, you know, to that level within a couple of weeks. Now, obviously, assuming that they're picking the right gadget and the right star power, you need to add another 3,000 coins onto that. So that would be you know, 6,090 coins to just get them to level nine with a star power and a gadget and then you're probably going to need this across like six brawlers right so i get it it's not an easy feat to get that but i would argue that given the vast amount of brawlers that they have either you know you give it that people have it as per standard because why not like why not just have it so that they're unlocked all the brawlers they do it in certain events where all the brawlers have all of it unlocked if the barrier to entry is the issue and we don't want to be in a paid to win scenario why not why not just take it so that we, do, we don't even have to worry about it like every brawler that you pick gets their gadget uh, that you can select and their star power maybe at a minimum you have to get them to level nine supercell meet you in the middle and say okay you have to get that brawler to level nine to be able to use it but we will give you the star power and the gadget and the gears so it's not frustrating for everybody involved that would be my preference to it because if it's a case of well we want people to feel incentivized to spend money to bring their brawler up because they're going to be in those games that they lose okay that's you know that is a version of a of a perspective they could have but then you're just pissing off every other person that ends up having to play with people in those situations. So, as I say, two solutions would be either you make it so that people have to have, you know, at least six, six to nine brawlers with, this would be my, my preference. You, you have at least six to nine brawlers, say, with at least one gear one star power obviously they can't control which ones they are we're not going to be unreasonable and they have those a uh, minimum and they're level nine right or they can even go into ranked or 
they have to at least get them to level nine and you just give them access for ranked specifically or you just give everybody full access to level 11 so everyone's all on the same playing field it is ranked after all right and i think mobile games always seem to get away a little bit more with kind of that play to win element and i think for ranked and competitive i don't think it's massively acceptable and i probably wouldn't be making such a big fuss of it if i didn't see this so much in my games at the moment and again as i said at the start if you are above diamond and you are not seeing this ever so like you know, less than five percent fine but there are still going to be those moments that if it is still even happening at one percent it's still going to be really infuriating especially if you lose because you're going to feel like it wouldn't have happened had they had the baller with the full kit or at least you would have had a better chance of winning right no one wants to be at a disadvantage or be like do you know what if he'd have had that probably would have been a bit easier so that's just my take on it like i'm interested to see what yours is if you have any like i said i'm just just keen to get sort of my thoughts frustrations out on it i've sort of raised the problem or a concern i think there is with ranked but I provided a few solutions and ideas so again let me know your thoughts feedback this is a criticism of supercell right this is just my opinion i'm loving the game i'm still enjoying ranked overall it isn't hindering my overall happiness satisfaction or drive to want to play it personally but it is dampening the experience overall a little bit uh, and hence why it kind of gave me the motivation to and do a video on it specifically but that is it guys um if you have different views and thoughts opinions all that good stuff comment below otherwise i'll see you in the next video see ya